The Boeing 777X – What does the future look like now? The aviation world is rapidly changing due to the current crisis and no one is more affected than airframe builders like Boeing. With the Boeing 777X due to start service at the end of the year, has the crisis affected the new flagship aircraft's development? If you don't know what the Boeing 777X is, then here is a quick summary. Boeing is building a new generation of the popular wide-body 777, much as it did with the narrow-body 737. This new version will have new technologies and new engineering, inspired in part by innovations built into the Boeing 787. These include bigger windows, a composite fuselage, and state-of-the-art cabins. The wingspan of the aircraft is enormous, so much so that it needs to fold up its wingtips to fit into regular airport gates. Plus, the aircraft is famously known for its gigantic power plants, the GE-9X. These engines are so big that you could fit the entire fuselage of a Boeing 737 within its diameter. There are two variants in development, the Boeing 7778 and the 7779. As a comparison, the two have various ranges. The 7778 has 8,690 nautical miles and the 779 7,525 nautical miles. Seating capacity on the 8 is 365 and on the 9 is 414. The first Boeing 777X to be built for commercial service is destined for Lufthansa. So far, the type has 309 orders from other airlines, including Etihad, Cathay Pacific, Emirates, Qatar Airways, All Nippon Airways, Singapore Airlines and British Airways. The aircraft has been under development for many years, and earlier this year, Boeing made great progress in getting a prototype built and flying. The aircraft took to the skies in January, and last month the second of four prototypes began its taxi tests. You can read about the development cycle of the 777X program and what each of the prototypes are for on our website. However, since then, news of the 777X development has become few and far between as the current crisis takes over our airways. So what is the current state of the 777X development? According to a report by Bloomberg, Boeing recently shut down its wide-body production facilities to prevent further spread of the deadly virus that's engulfing the nation. Until employees are allowed back into the facility, then most of the Boeing 777X development will be restricted to only theoretical or software developments. Essential workers are allowed on site, but it's unlikely that the development of the 777X would be considered essential. There is a possibility that suppliers who are building components for the model will continue, but they won't be able to deliver anytime soon. In summary, we know that the first prototype is flying and still available for flight tests, and that the second version has not yet flown but is driving around the Boeing lot, hopefully not bumping into any of the parked Boeing 737 Maxes. Simple Flying reached out to Boeing to understand the current state of the development program, but Boeing is yet to reply. Until then, perhaps we should just be satisfied that Boeing is even building such a remarkable aircraft. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.